What's up guys, Tucker Singh here, SNS Smithing. Today we're continuing our coil spring hand tool series. Today we're forging a hot cut. Let's get started on it. Alright guys, so we have our piece that we straightened out in the last video making the round punch in the forge heating up. So while we're doing that, and it's heating up, we're going to make our hot cut chisel out of this coil spring. So we're going to forge out a nice flat edge on it to forge out into a hot cut. So this is my main hot cut that I use. And we talked briefly last time about uh, whenever we make made our uh, some other stuff in our split cross about how we have these sharpened. This one, I'm, the, this, this new one I'm going to do with this double edged sharpening. It's going to be kind of curved with this edge sharpened on it to help split open our cuts. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to forge it out into a little bit of a fishtail taper where it's fanned out. And then, once we get that in shape, we'll cut it off on the party and then we will grind it up before heat treating. This should be pretty simple. Alright, so first off, we're just going to start by squaring off our end here. guys so there's our rough profile for the uh, hot cut chisel it's kind of misshapen a little bit here but that's okay nothing we can't we're not going to be able to fix whenever we go over to the grinder there so next thing we're just going to straighten up our bar a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead take it over well, we'll take it to over the hot cut cut it off to center and then next thing we're going to do is Hop on grinding. This is a quick one, guys. So she's cut off. We're pretty relatively sure we're going to true that up a little bit. Uh, we're going to give our handle here a bit of shape. Instead of just the round, we're going to straighten it up a bit more. We're going to taper out our striking end a bit. We're going to kind of rectangle this off slightly. Kind of make this more ovular to kind of be a little bit better fitting in the hand. So guys, now that we forged it into like an ovular shape that gave us a little bit more length to keep our hands up off away from the steel, next thing I'm just going to squish this out, twine that out, and then put a taper that way on it. Then we'll be ready to let it cool off and grind once we straighten it. So we have our hot cut there. And you see we kind of got our little sprite out crescent shape on our cutting edge there. Forged up. We have our ovular handle shape to kind of help 
index where our edge is going to be. Make sure that's in line and centered with your handle. We have our tapered uh, striking end there to uh, help transfer our force straight down into the edge. Now we just got to let it cool off and then we're going to grind, do our rough grind, get it ready for uh, heat treating. And then we'll heat treat her and then we'll sharpen it and test it out. Alrighty guys, so she is cooled off enough for us to handle with gloves there. So as you can see, we have our flats for our ovular size that way it indexes nicely and we can tell where our edge is going to sit. So we're just going to true up our crescent shape there so we can kind of walk it through the metal fairly easily. Uh, we're going to grind a decent bit back because we got a little thin on our edge there. This material is a little small for starting making a hot cut with, so we're going to Grind that back till it's a little bit thicker. Clean up our flats. That way it looks a little bit more uniform and nice. Clean up our striking in there that we cut the center on the hot cut. And our taper. Take off our sharp edges before we go to heat treat. Now whenever we go to heat treat after grinding, we are going to uh, thermal cycle this a couple times. And this is going to be the same basic procedure as our round punch we did. Guys, so we have our rough grind all done. We've got our crescent shape trued up. We got our flats nice and truly flat now. We're still pretty straight. Uh, I did not decide to fix up the grind or the texturing on the side to give it a little bit better grip. Uh, one reason why I like making it that ovular shape is because it's comfortable in the hand and will fit good in palms and stuff too. So now we're going to thermocycle it a couple times and we'll come back right as we harden it. Alright so our hardening procedure is going to be we're going to thermocycle this three times so we're going to normalize it three times we're going to do another differential hardening so we're going to quench off our cutting end, leave our striking end warm let my colors run up to the edge here. Again, not everybody heat treats their hot cut tools or punches because they're going to get a lot of heat and abuse, but I just like to strengthen at least the middle section here. It just makes me feel more comfortable. So we're going to heat this up. We're going to quench it into our oil, pull it out, scratch off the scale along the edge there, watch our colors run up, and then we're going to pull off the whole thing and lock it in. Alright guys, so she's all hardened up. Don't know how well the camera can pick up our little colors in there. We got purple back up into here. And then up into here we have uh, gold and straw up and towards the edge there. So we kept our striking edge nice and cool. Well, hot. Then once it was this was locked in, gave it a little bit of time to cool off, that way I didn't harden this end and cooled everything off, so. Next thing, we're just going to sharpen her a bit. So we're going to put a bevel, sharpen this edge. We're going to do our little split edges on the sides here a little bit, just rough because it's thinner, so. And then we'll test her out. Alright guys, so we got our edge sharpened in there, and then you can see on our 
sides here we did our little split cuts on the very edges to help widen out any cuts if we're going all the way through and that'll help dig in whenever you start going deep with the corner and then it's rounded so that way you can just kind of walk it through a cut nothing too crazy sharp because this is all going in hot material so now we're going to heat up a piece and try it out So here we go, we'll just kind of start somewhere here and just kind of So there you go guys, just a quick little star asterisk snowflake type deal Just real quick in one heat on this thin metal uh, So she works good you can just kind of have it halfway angled a little bit, and then just bam, 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 bam. And once you cut in, it'll just walk itself back and forth. You have them sharp corners here that can dig in and then carry it forward. And then if we do the full cut, those help split it open a bit. So, not too bad, buddy. All right, guys, so uh, she's all done. You saw her test it out. Our sharpened edge here. Our nice uniform ovular profile fits nice in the hand. It's long enough you can see where you're walking it. It's got a nice radius to it so you can walk it easy. Our tapered striking end here. So, looking pretty solid, guys. So. Hope you enjoyed this and our coil spring hand tool series. Uh, remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And always, guys, forge your fate.